As China enters a fourth month of devastating flooding, it is grappling with catastrophic damage that has spread from the central provinces to the upper Yangtze, a region that includes Chongqing, a city of 30 million, and Sichuan province, in the high-altitude southwest, according to Washington Post. So far, 63 million people have been affected, and 15 million acres of farmland destroyed, an area the size of West Virginia. In official statements, the government has placed the floods on the same level as the coronavirus pandemic when describing shocks to China this year. While Chinese Communist Party leader Xi Jinping calling for war against waste and pushing a law to clean the plates as crop shortage fears grow. And government media affiliated outlets published, including the New York Times to tighten the belts. Today CGTN government affiliated media outlet. Domestic self-sufficiency rates of wheat and rice are maintained at a high level of 99.1%. Everything is fine. Will the floods impact China's food security? Updated August 25, 2020. Due to COVID-19 and floods in several southern provinces, concerns over food shortage have arisen among the public. But experts and officials of the Agriculture Ministry have confirmed that the impact of floods in food supply are limited. Food supply and demand in China. China's crop production can meet people's consumption demand completely. In terms of production and demand, China's crop output reached 664 million tons in 2019, including 210 million tons of rice, 134 million tons of wheat and 261 million tons of corn, while rice and wheat consumption in China reached 143 million tons and 125 million tons, respectively, standing at a lower level than production, according to the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural affairs of China. Moreover, the consumption of rice and wheat has been reducing year by year. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, from 2013 to 2018. From the trade perspective, most of imported crops by China are feed grains, such as soybeans. Wheat and rice account for only a small part of crop imports. In 2019, soybean imports reached 88.511 million tons, accounting for 79.4% of total crop imports. In addition, China has been reducing the imports of wheat and rice for several years now. In 2019, China imported 2.55 million tons of rice, a drop from 4 million tons in 2017. Besides, in 2019, China exported 2.75 million tons of rice. Domestic self-sufficiency rates of wheat and rice are maintained at a high level of 99.1%. As to the inventory, the total government inventory of rice, wheat, and corn is about 300 million tons, which can fully meet domestic consumption, according to official estimates, and there are also crops kept by farmers and businesses as crop inventory in China includes two parts, government inventory and social inventory. Floods impact. 5% of cropland in China was affected by floods, and only 1% was destroyed, which experts say will only cause a limited impact on crop production, according to the Ministry of Emergency Management. Official data shows that floods have damaged 6,032,600 hectares of crops so far, of which 1,140,800 hectares have been destroyed. However, the total area of croplands in 2019 is 116.06 million hectares, which means the affected area only accounts for a very small part of the total. Additionally, China's total summer crop output in 2020 is 142.81 million tons, an increase of 0.9% over 2019. The total output of early rice was 27.29 million tons, up 3.9% from 2019. As for the fall harvest in October and November, which accounts for more than 70% of China's total annual grain output, this is rarely impacted by floods, as 60% of fall crops are planted in northern China, which has much less rainfall compared with southern provinces. 
Independent research conducted by Xinhuan Hongyuan, a top securities company in China, weak demand as China's crop production and inventory are robust, and the current trade channels are unimpeded. However, experts cautioned that with the improvement of people's living standards, meat consumption would continue to increase, and that requires more feed grains in which China counts on imports from other countries, especially the U.S. Analysts predict that China will import from all sources of soybeans next year due to the current China-U.S. trade tensions and the growing hostility of the U.S. towards China.